Hello, everybody. Welcome to your 40 minute microformer blast. You will need a microformer. Have a mat at the front of your front platform on the ground. You'll need bars at the front today. We're going to start right in our obliques. So we're going to go one black spring. If you want to go more advanced, feel free to go zero springs. Hands are going to be on your top bars. Feet, right foot over left foot on the carriage. Ready? Three. Two, let's do it guys. So starting right in those obliques, inhale, take those legs out, exhale, take those hips up. Good, all the weight over the hands, shoulders over the wrists. Keep that pipe really, really small. Good, inhale, take it out, exhale, tiny, tiny pipe. Right in those obliques, right off the bat here. Let's go 30 seconds with that teaser. Then hands are gonna come down to the front platform. Left knee stacks on top of the right knee. We're going for a twisted wheel. We've got seven minutes total of obliques, 20 minutes of leg, nine minutes of center core, and about three minutes of upper body. In five, left knee stacks on top of the right knee, twisted wheel. In four, three, Two, let's do it guys. So left knee stacks on top of the right knee. Drop the hips, drop the butt, and now hinge back from just the shoulders. Hinge over. Good, I know I've got a baggy shirt on, but you can see I'm a straight long line from head to knee, and it's just my shoulders that shift back, and then just my shoulders that shift forward. Amazing, let's go 35 seconds here, then you're gonna do the same motion you're doing right now but on your elbows. Good, everybody, nice and slow. In 20. Elbows drop down. It's a twisted saw. It's the same thing you're doing now. On the elbows and the knees. In four, three, Two, let's do it. So elbows down, knees stay stacked, left knee on top of right knee now, just the shoulder shift back, just the shoulder shift forward, you got it. 20 seconds here, then we're going platform teaser on that right side. So hands up on the platform, right foot over left foot on the carriage. Just like the teaser we did with the bars, but now it's a platform teaser. If you need to modify again on the bars, just do a second set. No problem. We're there in three, two. Let's do it, guys. Platform teaser, right foot over left foot. Last right side oblique move. Exhale, tiny. Inhale, extend. So even smaller now since we're working off that platform. 45 seconds. Amazing. And we're going to go right into that left oblique in order, starting with teaser on the left side. Give me 30 seconds left here. Keep it small and slow. Awesome guys, you got 20. Beautiful, let's go for a 10. In five, four, three, two, I'm eight. So everything we just did on the right, now on the left. So left foot crosses over the right foot. Ready, three, two, hands up on the bars. Let's go, inhale, take those legs out. Exhale, pipe those hips up. Good, all the weight over the hands. You got it, working it slow. 40 seconds, we got that twisted wheel. Good, in 30. Hands come down, right knee stacks on top of the left knee. We're 
Over there in Tangai. Nice. In five, four, three, two. Right knee on top of left knee. Hands on your flat, front platform. Hinge back from just the shoulders. Hinge forward. Good. Eyes look forward towards your mat that's on the floor in front of your front platform. You'll see why we need that. So good. Now in 30 seconds, you're gonna do the same thing on your elbow. Elbows drop. Keep your knees in the same formation they're in. It's a twisted saw. On the elbows and knees. We're just gonna be there for 30 seconds and we got that platform teaser. And then we're gonna go right in to your left leg. In four, elbows down guys, three, two, let's do it, elbows down, twist itself. Hinge back from just the shoulders, hinge forward. Good. 20 seconds, you've got platform teaser, hands up, left foot over right foot, in 15. Nice, everyone. In five, hands up in four, three, two, let's do it. One minute on the clock, platform teaser, hit it, guys. If you need to modify, remember you can always do teaser with the bars again. All good. We're gonna go one red spring up to one red two black. Completely up to you. Runner's lunge on that left side. Left foot steps over the front platform out of the ground. Right foot goes to the edge or the eyelet of your rail. In 30, you can move your mat. Sorry, I had you set your mat up. We don't need it till later, but you can move your mat if you need to. In 20. Good. One red up to one red, two black. Left side. Runners, lunge everybody, we're there in eight. Good, in six, five, awesome. Four, three, two, good, you are so good. Obliques are done. So one red up to one red, two black. Left foot forward, right foot in the eyelet. We're against the edge of the carriage, depending on your spring load. You're gonna sit on the left side, kick with the right, ready, three, two, Let's go. So isometrical on the left as you kick with the right. So you've got bars, you can hold on to the bars. Yes. Just keep this left leg frozen as your right leg kicks out. And then as your right knee bends it. So 60 seconds here. Right leg is gonna go straight. And in order for that right leg to be straight for these straight right leg pulses, you're gonna wanna step your left foot up a little bit, okay? Away from the front platform so that the springs feel a little bit more manageable. So we're gonna do a straight right leg pulse. It'll kinda look like an elevator lunge, but obviously it's real heavy, right? Get ready. In 20, guys. Right leg goes straight. You're gonna push your hip back and down lower. And then resist. Looks like a heavy elevator lunge. We're there in 10. Again, you'll wanna step your left foot out a little bit. In five, four, three, two. Step your left foot out a little bit. Let that right leg go straight. And now push it back and down. Resist it up. So it's like a little pulse. Push it back and down. Resist it up. Push it back and down. Keep that right leg straight. Resist it up. So good, guys. 10 seconds with these pulses. You'll go back to full range with your runner's lunge. In four, three, two, sit low. Bend your right knee in slow. 
take your right leg out. Awesome. Twenty seconds. We're gonna go for those straight right leg pulses again. Nice. In ten. Right leg goes straight. I have to put on a shoe so that my socks don't slip. So excuse me for a second. In three, two, take that step out and now push it back and down, just like so, resist it up. So it is a little faster as you push it back and down and then slowly resist it up. Good, everybody. Five seconds here. Two bent knees, hands behind the head, little dip. In four, three, two, step that left foot in. Two bent knees, hands behind the head, dip it down a little, up a little. So good, down a little, up a little. Good, we're gonna pivot to your right. Left foot stays on the floor. Right foot goes to the edge of the carriage. It's a side pin. We're there in five, four, Three, two, pivot to your right. Left foot is on the floor in front of the front platform. Right foot on the corner edge of the carriage. You're gonna sit on the left, sit with the right. Pull up on those bars if you got them. Out slow with that right leg in slot. And then try to shift a little bit more of your weight center over that platform. So you really feel that left outer thigh getting to work. Yes, you can step your left foot in towards your platform to make it heavier. You can step your left foot out away from the platform to the left and make it lighter. 20 seconds, right leg goes straight. Again, here's the theme. You're going to want to take a little step to the left so that that right leg can stay straight. We're going to do a heavy side lunge pulse. In four, three, Two, take a little step to the left of your left foot. Now pulse that left hip up a little. Push it back and down, right leg stay straight. Up a little. Push yourself back and down. Up a little. Push yourself back and down. That's it, guys. 10 seconds. You're going to go back to full range for me. In five, four, Three, two, dip low, back to full range. Step that left foot in. Just a little closer to that platform for full range. Good. We're going to do one more set of those straight right leg pulses in 20 seconds. So kick your right leg out. Left foot will step over to the left a little bit. In eight. Beautiful, guys. In six. Five. Four, three, two, step that left foot out a little bit, right leg straight, up a little. Push your butt back and down. Up a little, like a heavy side lunge. Push it back and down, bend that left knee a lot. Now, 15 seconds, you're gonna wanna be on zero springs. We're gonna do a, a side facing lunge. You'll see courage dips. We'll intersperse some courtesy dips with that. You'll see. In three, two, let's do it. So zero springs. You have to have zero springs for this one. Put your carriage in the center of your machine near the number two. Left foot on the ground, right foot back on the carriage. You're going to sit on the left, kick with the right. So we're just doing carriage kicks. Right leg kicks out, right knee bends back in. Okay? So just carriage kicks right here. Yes, lean forward over that left leg a lot. Carriage is light, you're in the center. Left leg stays low, we're just doing carriage kicks here. Now in 10 seconds, you're gonna sweep the right leg all the way over to the left for curtsy dips. In three, two, sweep that right leg all the way over the left, let it hit the stopper, now dip it down a little, up a little, curtsy dips. Down a little. Up a little. You can see my right hip points forward, left hip goes back. 
Good guy. 10 seconds. Back to the carriage kicks. Really ground down through that big left toe for me in five, four, three, two. Sit low, back to just the carriage kick. We've done this lunge before if you've taken my classes, but we usually do a stationary lunge with it, right? Right now, we're just working on the carriage kicks and those little dips. Awesome, everybody. 15 seconds, right foot goes all the way over to the left. You've got those curtsy dips. We're there in four, three, two, take it all the way over. Dip it down a little, up a little, down a little, up a little. So good guys, down a bit, up a bit. You got it. Really pull that right hip forward, left hip back. 10 seconds. Good, you got one more time through, ready? Four, three, two, sit low. This is the last time here. Kick your right leg over to the right, bend your right knee in underneath of your hip. Yes, guys, kick it over, bend it in. 20 seconds, we've got those curtsy dips. Then we're gonna do a little standing inner thigh before we hit your center four. Try to keep a hold of the zero springs if you can. And if you need to make any of the standing inner thighs or the center core easier, you'll be on one left, okay? In three, two, swing that right leg all the way over to the left. Now dip it down a little, up a little. This is it. 25 seconds here. Just one minute of standing inner thighs at the front. Left foot on the front platform, right foot on the carriage. We're there in 15. And then you'll wanna have the mat in front of your front platform on the floor. Yeah, then it'll be time for that. In five, four, three, two, awesome work, guys. So, left foot on the front platform, right foot on the carriage, it's out slow, dip it in slow. Have a micro bend in the knees, standing up super tall. You got it. Now in 40 seconds, have your mat ready, but we're gonna hit a wheel bounce. Hands will be on the front platform, knees on the carriage. Wheel barrow in 15. Zero spring harder. One black easier, you choose. In five, four, three, two, let's do it. So get that mat ready. One black will be a little easier, zero spring harder. Hands are gonna be on that front platform. Knees are gonna be on your carriage. Ready, three, two, let's do it. We've got 45 seconds of a wheelbarrow. And then 45 seconds of an elbow plank crawl up your mat, okay? And then we'll be in a wide plank with your feet straddling the machine on the ground. We'll tap the ring. And then we'll do that whole thing over again. Give me 20 seconds with this wheel. Elbows come down to your mat, up on the toes. You're just gonna crawl up with the elbows and then crawl down. Elbow plank crawl. We're there in four. In three, two, let's do it. So elbows down, toes on the carriage. All you're gonna do guys is crawl up as much as you want. Maybe the carriage hits the front platform, maybe not. I'm hitting a couch so I can't quite go all the way. And then crawl back. Just keep your hips as still as you can. Crawl up. Crawl back. Good. Let's go 25 seconds. Hands are going to be on the ground. Feet are going to be straddling the rail on the ground. We're going to do a little plank rail tap. We're there in 10. 
Beautiful, everybody. In five, four, three, two, do it. So, hands on the mat, feet wide, straddle the rail. Now, all you're going to do is tap your right foot up to the rail, put it down, lift the left foot, tap the rail, put it down. Right foot taps the rail, left foot taps the rail. Yeah, shoulders over the wrists. If you'd rather put your hands on the platform, this feels better for my shoulders. You can totally do that too. Just forget about the machine for a second, except for the rail. There you go. 15 seconds, everybody. Knees down, hands on platform. We're going back to a wheel. Got it. Try to keep the hips still as you lift and tap. Awesome. In four, three, two, knees down. Drop your hips, drop your butt. Hinge back, hinge forward. Amazing. Second time through, guys. Let's go 20 seconds. We're going for that elbow crawl. Ready in four, three, two, elbows down, toes up on that carriage. Crawl up as much as you want to until you hit that front platform maybe, and then crawl down. Just keep your butt down. Good, crawl it up, crawl it down. You can always do a version of this on your knees too, no problem. 25 seconds. Good guys. Hands come up to the platform if that feels better for your shoulders. We've got those plank taps. In 10. You got it. In five, four, beautiful. In three, two, let's do it. So hands up, feet wide on the ground, tap it up, right. Onto the rail, set the foot down, tap it up, set the foot down. Good, just try not to lift your butt up, right? You got it, tap the rail, shoulders over the wrist. Let's go 30 seconds, everybody, then we're moving on to a new combo. Spoon 30, reverse elbow bear for 30. We repeat that three times. In 15, hands on the top bars. Feet on the edge of the carriage. It's a spoon. You got it. We're there in five, four, three, two. Awesome. So turn around, face the back, but you're still at the front. Feet on the edge of the carriage, hands on the top bars. It's 30 seconds of spoon. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Scoop the booty up and back behind you, and then stop the hips and line with the hands. Really, really small. Just try to relax your legs. Good. 15 seconds. Elbows where your feet are. Feet where your butt's hovering. We've got that elbow there. In four. Three. Two. Let's get right into it. The clock is just going to run. Reverse elbow bear, guys. You're going to bend your knees in. Booty can go up a little bit. Take your legs out. Booty goes down. Yep. Like you're curling up into a tight one. Let's go 10 seconds. Back to it. Second time out of three. In four. Three. Two. Back to spoon. Let's do it. 30 seconds on the clock. Heels in those eyelets wherever you feel best with those feet. Scoop it up and back. Stop the hips in line with your hands. Awesome. Really let the abs initiate the scoop. 10 seconds, elbows down, toes up, elbow bare. In five, four, three, two, let's do it. A second set, guys. 30 seconds, the clock is just running. 
So really, by the time we get into it, it's probably like 20 seconds. Let your butt go up a little bit as you bend the knees in, and then butt goes down as your knees go out straight. Ugh. 15 seconds we got, one more time. Then we're gonna do a little upper body before we hit that right leg. Good, everyone, in four. In three, two, let's go, boom. Exhale, scoop it. Inhale, stop the hips and line the hips. Amazing. See, I'm bending my knees a little bit just to relax my legs. In five, elbow bear one more time. Four, three, two, let's do it. Bend the knees in, lift the hips up slightly. Yes, and then kick the legs out, drop the hips. Awesome. Knees are gonna stay down. Hands are gonna come up. We're gonna do traveling push-ups. I would say be on one black here, guys, to make life a little bit easier. If you wanna go advanced, feel free to go zero springs. We're gonna do some traveling push-ups for 45 seconds, followed by a reverse cobra for 45. In three, two, let's do it. So knees down, hands up on your carriage. Now, all you're gonna do is you're always gonna have one hand on the carriage, one hand on the floor. You're gonna do some crooked push-ups. And then you're gonna switch over the other hand on carriage, other hand on floor, push up. Just try to keep that carriage still and push out. Yes. And if you wanna do these push ups on your toes, be my guest. Have fun with that. Just try to keep the carriage over that number two. Keep the carriage still. Keep the butt and the hip down. Good. 15 seconds hands together on the carriage. We've got that reverse cobra. We're there in five. Leave the hard lead with the chest and those push-ups. Four, three, two, hands together near the padded part of your carriage. Drop the hips, keep them down as both elbows lower, and then both elbows lift, the carriage comes back in. If you can only lower the elbows halfway down, that fine. They don't have to lower all the way down. Just keep the hips and the butt still. Amazing. Let's go 15 seconds with this cobra. We'll go back to those crooked traveling push-ups. Working the triceps right here, guys, but your abs are very involved in your arms today. In four, three, two, one hand on carriage, one hand on ground. Push it up. Switch it over. Try to keep that carriage still and pushed out. Push it up. Good. Just try not to lift your butt up if you can. That's the challenge for the abs. I love push-ups on the knees. They do me justice. But if you want to go push-ups on the toes, do it. Do it, do it. So 15 seconds, one more set of cobra. Then we'll head into your right leg. In 10, hands together on the carriage, cobra. In five, four, three, two, let's do it. 45 seconds, guys. Hands shift forward, both elbows lower at the same time. Hands shift back, both elbows lift. 30 seconds is one red, up to one red, two black. We've got that runner's lunge on the right side. I'm gonna put my little shoe on because my sticky socks are not very sticky. But remember, you can always do this whole workout with shoes on. Otherwise, if you don't have shoes on, make sure your grip socks actually grip. In five, one red, four, Three, two, awesome. So one red is the minimum. Up to one red, two black max, guys. Move your mats out of the way. Right foot forward, left foot on the edge of the carriage harder, in the rail a little bit easier. Ready? Three, two, let's do it. You're gonna sit on the right. Feel free to hold on to your bars as you kick at the left. 
your right heel is kind of up against that front platform. But we'll scoot it forward for those straight legs also, right? That makes it lighter in terms of resistance. Just keep that right knee over your right ankle. 60 seconds here. And if you've got bars, feel free to pull up on them and hold them. Sit low. Nice, everyone. That first straight left leg pulse is coming in 30 seconds. Left leg goes straight. You'll step the right foot up a little bit so that you can manage that straight left leg pulse because it kind of looks like an elevator lunge, right? Not a carriage kick like what we're doing now, like a heavy carriage kick, which is which is runner's lunge. In five, you step your right foot out. Four, three, two, step your right foot out a little bit. Keep that left leg straight. And now push it back and down a little bit faster here. And then go really slow as you take that right leg almost straight. Bend your knee a lot, push it back and down. Resist it up. Yeah. Push it back and down. Resist it up. Five seconds, right foot steps back in closer. Full range. In four, three, two, step your right foot in closer to the platform. Full range of motion, runners one. Good. 15 seconds. Left leg goes straight. You'll step your right foot out again. Back to those straight left leg poses. In four, three, Two, step it out a little bit now. Push it back and down. Resist it up. Try not to lock the right knee out. Good. Push it back and down. Resist it up. 15 seconds. Two bent knees. Hands behind the head. Give me 30 seconds of some dips. We're there in eight. Awesome. In four. Three, two bent knees, hands behind head. Step that right foot back in closer to the platform. Down a little, up a little. You got it. Yeah. You've got those side kicks next side. You're going to pivot to your left. Right foot's on the floor, left foot to the corner edge of the carriage. You'll sit on the right, kick with the left. It's like a skater on the ground. We're there in eight. Keep dipping. In six, five. Four, three, two, turn to your left. Right foot on the floor, left foot on the edge of that carriage. Pull up on your bars. Sit on the right, kick with the left. You're on the block. Out slow with that left leg. In slow. Pull up on those bars if that feels good for you. Right foot is pretty close to that front platform. But when we do those heavy side lunge pulses, you'll step your right foot a little bit a ways out from your platform so you can manage those with your resistance. First set of that is coming up in 20 seconds. Try to keep that right hip still as you're kicking that left leg out so we feel that right outer thigh. In 10. Everybody in five, four, three, two. Step that right foot away from the platform. Now pulse that right hip up a little. Push the booty back and down. Bend the knee a lot. It's like a side lunge pulse, but it's heavy. Push it back and down. Resist it up. 15 seconds. You're going to sit low. Go back to full range. Step your right foot back in close to the platform. Got it. We're there in eight. Awesome. In six, five, four, three, two. Step that right foot in, back to where it was. 
Bend the left knee in, sit low on the right. Kick them up, leg out. Yes. One more set, guys. Then we're going zero springs for those carriage kick, dip, carriage kick, dip, carriage kick, dip. Standing in her thighs. Then you have a two minute ab combo. You guys are done. Already, can you believe it? In four, three, two, step your right foot out, left leg goes straight. Now push it back and down, resist it up. Like a heavy side lunge. So if you saw me from the side, my right knee is bending a lot as I sit down. I have to push my left leg out and sit down at the same time. 10 seconds at zero springs. Carriage over the number two, doesn't matter what side you do this on, because your right foot is gonna be forward, right? In three, two, let's do it, zero springs. Doesn't matter if you do it on this side of your machine or the other side of your machine, what matters is that the carriage is over the number two and that your right leg is out. That's what matters, right? Sit on the right, kick the left leg over to the left, and then bend the left knee and underneath of your head. Carriage kicks, let's go. Over to the left, and then bend it in. But just keep that right leg frozen. Make sure your knee's over your ankle. Step out if it's not. Now in five, you sweep your left leg all the way over to the right, curtsy dips in four, three, two, you'll see me hit my platform. Now dip it down a little, up a little down a little, up a little. Yes, really ground down through that right big toe. 15 seconds, we're back into those carriage kicks. Awesome, in four, three, two, sit low, and now kick your left leg over to the left, bend your left knee in. Good. Yes, guys, you got three sets. This is your second one. In 15, you sweep the left leg all the way over to the right. We got those curtsy dips. Excuse me, what did I just say? Curtsy dips. In four. Awesome. Three, two, now sweep it all the way over to the stopper. Dip it down a little, up a little. Just pull that left hip forward. Right hip back. Yes, you're going back to the carriage kicks one last time in 20 seconds. Woo. Amazing, everybody. In 10. In five, four, three, two, sit low. Kick that left leg over to the left. Bend your left knee in. Yep. Just keep the abs tight, right? The body is not moving around. Right leg is super solid. 10 seconds, left leg sweeps all the way over the right. Curtsy dips one more time in five, four, three, two. Sweep it all the way over, dip it down a little, up a little. Good, everybody. You keep that zero springage, okay, if you can, or go one block. Right foot on the platform, left foot on the carriage. It's just one minute standing in her thighs. Then we're in our final two minutes of class. We're there in 10. Yes, keep dipping, last eight. Got it. In five, four, three, two, amazing. God, job, guys. Right foot on the platform, you can turn your toes out or toes straight ahead. It's out slow. Zip it in. Just stand up tall. Now for the last two minutes of class, I would say one black spring will feel good for this next one. Knees are gonna be on the front flat from the start. Hands are gonna be on the carriage. We're gonna do a reverse wheel, lift the knees off the platform, legs straight, pike to plank, drop the knees down to the platform, reverse wheel. So it's a little combo move. We're there in 20.
Don't worry if you didn't quite get that. You will. In 10. I'm going to go to one block for this one. Feel free to stay on zero if you want that extra challenge. In four, three, two, let's do it. So one black spring I would recommend. Start in that reverse wheel first. Have your feet kind of off the platform so they can easily come down to the ground when they need to. You'll see why. Because you're going to drop the hips, drop the butt, do one wheel barrel, right? Plant your feet on the platform, straighten the legs, tiny tight to plank, and then drop the knees down with intention, wheel. And then lift the knees up, curl the toes under, straight legs, straight arms, tight. Yes, bend the knees real slow, let them touch the platform. It should be perfect that you land on that platform. Hinge forward. Hinge back, lift the knees up, straight legs, straight arms, tiny height. Yes, take your time. Let's go 30 seconds of this combo. And then holding the plank with your feet on the ground, we're gonna go for a tiny reverse bear for your last 30 seconds of class. Really break up the different parts of this combo, right? Yes, it's smooth, but you're not necessarily smoothing them all together. In four, reverse bear, last 30 seconds. Three, two, maybe you bring your feet up to the platform. Let's go, reverse bear, bend your knees in, kick your legs, out. This is it, guys. 25 seconds, you're done. Shoulders over those wrists. You got it. Let's go for 15. You let it go in 10. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Last eight. Awesome. In six, five, four, three, two. So good today, everybody. You rocked it. I will see you when I see you next.